When the heat wave hit us, all the fruits are you know coming small and dry up, you see. Also, like this we cannot use already. Should be green like that, bigger. This will be like around half a kilo. But now all, you see, no, no harvest. Malaysian farmers are seeing massive drops in their output. And experts say the weather could get worse next year. Last three years, we are experiencing La Nina. So the people are really comfort with La Nina due to the very nice weather, cold, plenty of rain. And now it's drastically switched to the El Nino. There's a model they're forecasting it to be a strong El Nino end of this year or early next year. So this one we have to monitor. Starting in April 2023, a record-breaking heat wave hit Asia. In Selangor, fruit farmer Jerry Kwan is feeling the impact. Yeah, it's a family farm. We have been here for almost 28 years. The weather is much worse. Lah. I think the heat wave this time is much longer and so much hotter and dry. We can see that eh, the fruits all come smaller and lesser. So it's like almost 50% of our harvest. So we will be in a loss. Lah. For these five, six months, we will be in a loss. This is a sour soap tree. So you see it's very dry. Even though it's under the sprinkler, so the water is coming out, it's also not enough for the tree. It uh, should be monthly, we at least estimate around 20 fruits uh, per tree. Now, nothing. Uh. When there's no water, there's no fruit. You see, no fruit. It's clear. This is despite the fact that Jerry has access to a reservoir. So this is our diesel pump, ground water to the whole farm. It's only for temporary. My wife don't have a reservoir like this, then she will be having a hard time. The guava, even though guava also will not grow. For us, even though with water like this also, we see our tree all dry up. So it's, uh, it's really bad lah, for us farmers. Data from the Malaysian Meteorological Department shows that mean temperatures are rising. Adding more heat this year is the emerging El Nino. Uh, El Nino cycle is normally two to two seven years. It can occur again. But there is a scale of warming. What is a weak El Nino, moderate El Nino, or strong El Nino? So in record, there are two strong El Nino. One is 1997-1998, and the second one is 2015-2016. If you still remember 1997-98 El Nino, during that time, so we are engulfed by the transboundary haze. So there's a lot of forest fire. That is uh, due to the prolonged dry and hot weather due to the El Nino phenomenon. But uh, at the moment, the, the agencies that are looking after into this phenomenon, they really forecast it's going to increase. But some model, they're going to be strong El Nino. Some model forecast moderate to weak El Nino. There's a different view from the different model. So at the moment, we can't really say what is going to happen end of this year until next year. If this really develop until strong El Nino, and we can expect the condition will be the same as 15, 16, but that is yet to be seen. Estimates from the Malaysian Agricultural Research and Development Institute show that previous El Nino years resulted in about 2% lower rice yields and about 10% lower fruit and vegetable yields. But paddy farmers are already claiming bigger losses than that. Well, Research shows that only 30% of farmers believe they have been able to cope with climactic vulnerabilities. The long-term change, people might not really realize or they think it's not so important because they say, we'll just adjust to it. We'll adapt to warmer, you know, we'll adapt to drier. But it's very, it's much more difficult to adapt to extremes. 
So we'll have extreme rainfall, extreme floods, extreme droughts occurring. If we have dry spells and the water resource we have become constrained, then the first priority would be for people. So that means then we have to worry about our food security because farmers will be not a major priority for receiving water. The government has announced its National Food Security Policy 2021 to 2025. And in Budget 2023, allocated 9.4 million ringgit for precision farming and agricultural sustainability. Mardi are the government body responsible for agricultural research and development. They say their 54th paddy variety, a drought-resistant plant, should be ready by 2026. And their research into smart indoor farming is showing positive results. Here, water, light and temperature are automated for maximum output. Although research into different crops is ongoing, so far only premium vegetables are commercially viable. I would expect that other countries would also face similar problems. And so we should really start looking to see how we ourselves can be food secure. Trying to see which type of crops would be more resilient to climate change, developing better hybrids. Research I know is already underway in many places in order to be able to do this. I think we also need to adjust how much we eat. Malaysia is renowned for being one of the, you know, major food waste countries. So actually, we probably need much less food than we actually consume. But long-term strategies to prepare for the impacts of climate change are still being discussed. In some of the countries, they also have what they call a national adaptation plan, how to adapt to the changes in climate change. Malaysia does not yet have a national adaptation plan. They have just submitted a proposal. But of course, a lot of money needs to be invested. You know, the biggest problem, I think, is where is the money coming from? So it's not something that's going to be solved, I think, within this next five years or 10 years. It's, it's a really a long-term approach which needs to be taken into account. In the meantime, farmers and consumers are facing the cost. You can say the customer can say, oh, higher price, so you can make more, but it doesn't make more. We don't have fruits, then you cannot nothing to sell. It's like a high cost for us. Lah. Because you workers, you need to pay, and there's no fruits for us. We have only temporary solution. You know, we can start, sustain like one month, two months, but now you drag until four, five, six months. Some, they are saying until August. So we need to find other solutions. We must see how to live with the current environment. Lah. 